all right guys welcome in welcome back to above ground world news want to thank uh sandfly for sending this to me this picture that we're looking at is the meteorologist down in australia he is the climatologist he works for the bureau of meteorology climate outlook on mainland australia man would you trust a weatherman that's all gouged up with the all the earrings and stuff man just crazy i couldn't even believe that when she sent that to me but hey pretty crazy anyway let's jump into some news man we got some just odd news tonight first we'll get into the serious news woodbury fire grows more than a hundred thousand acres containment still at 25 percent the wood Berry fires burn 112,899 acres in the wilderness remains 25% contained. This is all going on down in Arizona. We've been looking at the smoke, you know, on the worldview map. Yeah, pretty crazy that picture, but I still can't get over that. You know, our weathermen here in the States, man, they're wearing the tight, skimpy jeans with tennis shoes salad boy you know they're not like john wayne whatsoever anyway pretty crazy so they've had no major structures that have been lost in the fire yet so anyway this fire is still going on still out of control and we got the everglades is on fire but not the everglades national park this is the sawgrass fire down in Florida. This massive wildfire has converted more than 17,000 acres of the Everglades in less than 24 hours. Officials believe lightning started the blaze Sunday evening in West Central Broward County. As of 4 p.m. on Monday afternoon, the area of 17,000 acres was burning and 0% contained. We knew this was coming. That's why they droughted them out so long. Hey. All right. We, uh, I think the, uh, I had to do a D-Live partnership thing, and I think I just got a, a message from anyway they're gonna have to wait because we're live man we're in a show i'll get to them but thanks d live for accepting us as a partner in the partnership program we'll be able to upload videos um they got way better visual live streams over there now i can upload videos to there so that's going to help us a lot so we have this crazy tsunami of meteorological origin hits malta smashing the boats on shore this happened yesterday they call it an atmospheric tsunami struck a uh, malta's coast early on monday morning june 18th oh, i guess it happened on the 18th stranding boats onto the rocks the strange phenomenon started about 6 a.m with the sea level rising and falling about 60 centimeters in regular cycles every few minutes during approximately an hour so the whole ocean was being sucked out and then coming back in and sucking out that's just crazy what what the hell caused this what is the atmospheric tsunami we're going to in fact we're going to dig into this we'll see what they got here they called it an aldo drago or is that his name head of the university of Mal malta's ocean uh, research groups of the phenomenon was known as a coastal siege here was let's google that we'll see what we uh get with that and see what their their definition is and then we'll look in and see what it really is all right what is a oh this is kind of like the uh wave machine it looks like Let's get this to load. It's a standing wave or oscillating in a body of water. Well, to me, that means something was moving. I mean, that'd be hard to cause that by just 
the wind. The wind would be blowing it one direction. So we definitely have some crazy uh, earth changes going on. So they're saying this uh, blah, blah, blah. Lake Erie is known for seiches. I don't know how to pronounce that. Especially when strong winds blow from southwest to northeast. A 22-foot siege breached a 14-foot high wall, killing 78 people, damming the ice to the extent of Niagara Falls. So that's pretty crazy. All right, what else was the... Uh, or a uh, let's see what this one is and we're gonna I'll dig into this when I get a little more time and, and look at the radars and see what we can dig up on that because I got a bunch of other crap to get into here and thanks everybody staying up late with us here Monday night Monday night sucked or Monday at work sucked but we're through it now now we're talking about the real stuff going on so this is a meteorological tsunami generated when rapid changes in barometric pressure cause the displacement of a body of water in contrast to ordinary impulse type tsunami sources. A traveling atmospheric disturbance normally interacts with the ocean over, over a limited period of, of a time from several, several minutes to several hours. So they can be difficult to distinguish between one or the other. So which is it? Is it caused by the wind? Is it caused by the barometric pressure? Or is it caused by some kind of earth change? Some kind of underground volcanic activity. Maybe an underwater landslide. So yeah, they always give you different, you know, definitions for this crazy article uh friday i think it was but the sun valley earthquake swarm continues at one point producing 60 quakes in a matter of hours you know and then we had the the 5.6 or whatever it was we've had quite a few quakes that went off over there i know i need to try to get caught up on a go over to i know dutch isn't i don't think he's putting videos up on his main channel right now so you got to go to his backup then we had a meteor that exploded over South Queensland, Australia. This happened uh, on Saturday night. Let's see if we got. Let's see if we can play that. Oh wow, that was a green one too. That's a pretty good one. So it looks like we got maybe a couple different angles. Man, that's a good shot, man. I've I've caught it. They're really hard to capture if you got a telescope. I mean, the more you z you're zoomed in on stuff, the harder it is to to catch this stuff. So wow, pretty crazy right there. Then when that big earthquake went off, this happened today about 4:16 a.m. The Darwin CBD building evacuated after a magnitude 7.2 earthquake in the Banda Sea. But I mean they. They never did get hit with no kind of tsunami or nothing like that. But 200 staff were evacuated and have been sent home. There are some cracks. Whether they're old or new, we don't know. They don't know. Okay. So no threat to tsunami of tsunami in Australia. Or is that Australia? Yeah, Australia. Okay. Man, I'm getting tired, man. All right, let's get into some other things here. It was a, oh, man, we're going to get into that. I mean, oh, check this out. The fires that are going on over in Sicily. Does this look familiar? This looks just like the Paradise Fires. Look, all the cars are burnt up. All the vegetation around is perfectly fine. But yeah, but every single car is burnt to a crisp no windows melted everything look at that you know was this was there gravel here was this like a grass field what's going on with these 
Look at this. Only the car lot is burnt up. I mean, it's crazy, man, what's going on. They're using these weapons. Look, you got clay is on fire. Yeah, okay. Of course, they're going to show you the little brush pile. But yeah, man, these, these fires are uh, really selective when they're burning these. German field apparently caused by a World War II bomb. I probably shouldn't have said that word. Now we'll get flagged. Uh, is there anything on it? I know there's there's a thumbnail of it. We click that and see what it does here. It's trying to get to the thumbnail. Who knows if it's even a real thumbnail? I can't tell with the mainstream. They can lie to you. Man, that's weird looking. Why does it not look like a crater? It looks like it's exploded up. So a crater 33 feet wide and 13 feet deep has appeared in a field in central Germany, apparently caused by a World War II bomb exploding in the middle of the night. Maybe that was just people uh, getting ready for the 4th of July. Maybe they made the Holy crap. Maybe they were making their own bombs. That's what we used to do. All right, the next little story. I don't even know if I want to report on this, but man, I don't like crap happening to animals, but this is nuts, man. I'm not going to play the video. I'll post this video link in the chat. I mean, this is just nuts. If you guys want to watch that, you can go watch it. It's pretty sickening, pretty graphic. So what what's going on is these researchers in France have inserted these portholes into the cow's stomach reportedly in order to study and manipulate the animal's digestive system. Why do they need to do that? Now, this was a secretly filmed footage apparently recorded between February and May of 2019 at Scorch's Experimental Farm in northwestern France. The French animal groups shared the video and information online. The group says their cow stomach was perforated with a hole of 15 centimeters in diameter to study their digestion and they are forced to live locked in a building with concrete floor without straw from their own droppings. Man, this is just sick. Oh, man, you can see that. That thing is huge, man. Oh, man, I can't believe they're doing this stuff. What the heck? Anyway, somebody needs to send these people some letters, man, some nasty letters. I left a link in the description. All right, let's jump into the worldview map because I got some crazy stuff on here to show you. All right, check this spraying operation out. I'm zoomed in here pretty good, so hopefully you guys can see it. Hopefully the stream will stay in the green. We've got this mega bombardment going on out here. And we can also see the frequency clouds pop up in here. If I can get it on the right, like in the squares. But yeah, mass spraying operation right here off the coast of the Netherlands, over here off the coast of the UK. I mean, this is just a mega spraying operation I'm like you couldn't even count all these artificial clouds over here the the look at the color of this stuff man it's disgusting see that's one of the biggest spraying operations I've seen in a while but what's even crazier is these cloud formations down here in the Mediterranean Sea like what the heck is this is this a whole punch cloud you got microwave frequencies coming out of this thing. This is some kind of weird man-made. Look at this triangle-shaped cloud. You got tons of frequency line. Look at this straight line. What the hell is this? So these are all man-made clouds. And there's quite a few of them over here. I mean, just freaky looking like they're trying to, trying to create some kind of a Project Blue Beam type clouds. Look at this. I mean, what is this? This is in no way 
a normal cloud formation perfectly straight lines I mean they'll call these gravity wave clouds no that's microwave frequencies you can see by the color man they're they're they could be using sound or the radio frequencies of the microwave technology to to make these things appear like this I mean these are just strange see what they turned into so it started out like that and of course you got the heavy aerosols to the north of this so yeah man just some weird cloud formations out here in the Mediterranean Sea you could actually see some of the Sahara dust over here all this funky looking color that's the dust another aerosol is being deployed So, uh, yeah, we'll get to the United States here in just a second. I want to go ahead and take a quick look. You got aerosols down here in South Africa. Another big spraying operation in the Arabian Sea. They're spraying all over the whole map. Who's, who's not getting sprayed? Right here. They never get sprayed. One time this year, and they only had like three trails in the northern part. Down in Australia, they're getting hit. So you got tons of aerosols being deployed in Australia. They're getting the same stuff in these other countries that's happening here in the States. There's a bunch of fires going on up here in Russia, man. I, I went back through the, see if I can get the, yeah. So you got tons of big ass fires up here. I really, I know they're trying to melt the North Pole. You know, they want to melt this up here to get to the resources. They want to put the underground One World Railway in here. You can see all the bunker fuel ships. And now you have the volcanic flume that's mixed in with this low pressure system, which is probably going to kind of ricochet around up here in the Bering Sea. Let's go back a day here. I'm pretty sure I had all this loaded. Yeah. So look at, look how heavy these bumps of load. I thought I had already had all this loaded once. I'm trying to remember where it was. Well, now I'm not seeing it. I know there was two areas. Anyway, let's get it. Go ahead and get into today. There's a couple up there in the north, but yeah, big time over there by Russia all right let's go ahead and jump over here right now and see if we can see it's not all the way loaded that's why a lot of times I can't check Hawaii out and stuff because the map isn't all the way loaded as far as we can get let me see if this will load Yeah, it's not going to load. So the shipping operations right here, still off the coast of California. Oh, I'm on on the right day. Okay, that's why. So let's get up. Here was yesterday, or here's today. So we just barely clip the ship tracks going on here below the uh, Bering Strait there. I guess I could have just loaded the 3.7s, but we got aerosols being deployed all over California. Look at Southern California. Look at that fat liner right there. We'll let this load up real good. <clears throat> so you got a mass spraying operation over San Francisco, San Jose, Fresno, Yosemite National Park, going all the way over into Nevada. Of course, we got the smoke coming off the fires down here in Arizona. But yeah, man, big time deployment right over California. You guys had the toxic air all week. Now they're just going to make it worse. More people are going to get sick. Look at this flight path. If that is going to come in, they did a figure eight and then they were drawing the penis again. You got a couple figure eights in here trying to draw the woody up in the sky sending us the middle finger let's 
So yeah, man. Did you uh did you upload a video there, Bamboo, of your skies or anything? I, I should have went and looked. So wow, man, heavy aerosols deployed over Southern California. Just trying to check all these little layers here. Yeah, the good old days. Yeah, see, I grew up, you know, I graduated in 84, man. Back in, in my day, it was all sex, drugs, and rock and roll, man. What happened to that? Now it's, uh, oh, I don't even want to talk about it, man. I'll definitely get hit if I talk about what I think of what's going on. Now, maybe on D-Live I can. Look how thick these are, man. What is that glow right there? That is strange. Let me see. We need to let this uh, totally clear up. So, wow, they're just doing all kinds of crazy formations down here. These are pretty wild. So, California, man, you're, there's sky riding in your skies. You've already been hit by the bunker fuel. We have the toxic air from the uh, volcano that went off. Oh, man, North California, same thing. Everybody over here is getting fried. So they're setting up for the next set of fires. That's probably what they're doing. Because I didn't see any rain in the forecast. I mean, I may have to go back and double check. Wow, Oregon, Washington. So Oregon's getting hit too. So it looks like the target for the fires, South, South California, North California, and Oregon. They're, they're, uh, Spraying the accelerants now. It's like a rerun of a bad movie. Yesterday they, they were spraying up here in Alaska. I thought I had this all loaded better, but it sure is not coming in very good. There we go. So you also have a heavy spraying operation here off the British Columbia coast. So they are definitely... Hitting it hard. Look at this right here. Look at these sprays. More microwave looking clouds. More freaky looking clouds. So we are just south of the Gulf of Alaska. We're right over here. There's Anchorage right there. Looks like they got a fire going in Anchorage or some kind of smog or something is going on. So we got heavy aerosols all out in the west from the land, from the sea. Oh, yeah, the ship tracks are all coming in now. So they're, they're right over the time zone change. So the map is actually starting to load just a little bit farther. So yeah, definitely still a bunch of ships out there. So we're being hit from all directions. Let me back this out just a little bit. Heavy aerosols over Quebec, Ontario. Look at all these fat liners, man. They got some heavy liners going on. All the way down through New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York. And then even out off the coast. Look, they're spraying out here in the middle of the ocean. They're also hitting it with some frequency lines. So we almost have some fair weather clouds. We got a few aerosols mixed in them. See if we can pick up that fire down here. Yeah, the solar minimum, yeah, you get less of a certain kind of sun rays, but then you get worse of the other kind. I can't remember what they all are, but that's why the sun feels so hot, man. It's uh, It will cook you in minutes. There's no magnetic shield to, uh, it's really weak right now. 
So while the East Coast is looking, uh, you get your one day. One day of uh, semi-clean air spraying in the Gulf of Mexico. We got to watch this system right here, man. It could turn into something and then go up through the Bajas. I mean, we'll have to see it. Actually, it's right here. It's right underneath that black. Yeah, there's a little pressure right out here. All right, let's go ahead and check some satellites, see what's going on. Yeah, California was getting hit hard. Oh, I guess there is some moisture. I don't know if it's hitting the ground out there, but man, they are definitely spraying the crap out of the West Coast. Look at these aerosols coming up to Arkansas, Missouri, right up the Ohio Valley. That's a massive rain producer down there in Southern Texas. Let me see if there's any kind of watches and warnings. So it looks like we got severe thunderstorms. I don't see any kind of tornadic stuff yet. Let me put this on the composite radar so I can see a little bit better. And we'll be able to see what the radars are doing. The steering of the atmospheric rivers. Wow, that thing had one hell of an outflow going the opposite way of the storm. So that thing... What is going on down there? I think that's the second time we've seen the weird outflows that don't make sense. Yeah, so just flood warnings, thunderstorm warnings. I do want to check that radar right there because that looks pretty odd. Actually, I guess I could have just went down a little bit. Let's just check this radar right here. Yeah, you guys got a bunch of snow there in Colorado. The first day of summer and you got almost two feet of snow. All right, let's just sing a loop. Probably keep this broadcast pretty short tonight. Yeah, we went from uh, from the John Wayne days to, uh, man, I don't even know who to compare it to now. Whoa, look at that. That is crazy. So nothing was going on. Then they fire these storms off, and look at the outflow being just blasted away. You actually had two separate flows. The surprise you didn't get a tornado from the outflows. So you got this one coming in, then you get another one from these other storms going in there. You could have had rotation right there. Look, it really fired up some storms. Let's check the uh, base velocity. All right, so let's check this out here. See, the greens are the outgoing and the reds are the incoming, or it's the other way around. We'll let it load. I can already see the microwave pulses. Well, they're definitely, they're toasting this thing. So this is a completely... Man, I'm surprised they didn't create a tornado right there. I'm, you can see the frequencies in this just big time. Let me put this on the uh, mean velocity. And then we'll be able to see the uh, microwaves here on the next. 
Yeah, there, here's what I call the the purple is the microwaves. It's, you notice there's no purple even over here. That's how we figure out the uh, microwave pulses, the frequency pulse. Look at that. They had it just cranking up. Man, that's a wide beam there. That's a wide pulse. Usually it's not that wide. So they were uh, definitely hacking this thing. Look at that. The winds didn't even know what to do. So that's some psychedelic stuff right there. Look at that, man. That's so engineered. Let me just check one more thing. Man, this thing don't even look like a, any kind of normal storms. Like I can use this one here. It's damn sure not the birds. You can almost see the pattern that they were they were pushing. Man, that's just some crazy outflows with that. All right, that's pretty. Uh, that's some wild stuff right there. Now, how do I get back? Really sucks they mess this whole page up. You don't get the real water vapor map no more. You don't get the polar maps no more. They just keep taking away more and more of our products. How we pay these guys, we should be able to get whatever radar whatever data we want. Let's go ahead and go to the, get this thing loaded up. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty funny there. All right, so let's crank this up. We'll be able to see the, the complete terrorism of the sky going on i can already see the heavy trails out there in the atlantic so you can see they're just mass spraying all the way from ontario quebec all the way down through connecticut and all them i mean that was a big spraying operation tons of x's in the sky they just keep coming look at that they're spraying way out here man that's all synthetic man-made clouds mixing in with the fire smoke and we know the whole west coast is just pummeled with aerosols today gulf of mexico was hit so right out ahead of all these right out ahead of all these storms they were spraying so they were cloud seeding let's go ahead and look at a close-up version of the West Coast because I know they got blasted. Yeah, we got some heat coming in, man. They're going to crank on the furnace. I forgot to look at the temperature maps last night. I guess we could just check them on the earth. No, look at that, man. Super little, little bitty patterns. A couple real long ones. Man, that's just so blatant. It's, it's like they can't even hide it anymore. Just tic-tac-toe, crisscrossing. You can see the color is completely wrong. Let's go down a little bit farther south. And here comes the spraying operation over Southern California, Arizona, or Nevada. It almost loaded all the way. Hey, thanks out there, bamboo. Let's 
Yeah, so uh, complete fabricated skies. Well, oh, I forgot I was going to show you this. There's something going on with the polar vortex winds down in the Arc Antarctic. Now, I was checking the winds today. On top of it being kind of like a triangle shape, which isn't completely abnormal, but the speed of the winds is. So you're looking at 253 mile an hour polar vortex winds. We can go back, you know, years. And every year you go back, the winds get a little bit less. We try to pick like a real good, like maybe the El Nino year. See what the winds look like. How about we go back? So that's kind of a triangle shape, pretty close. 168 mile an hour winds and now they're at 253 but it, the farther you go back the less the winds are so you just got some just freaky winds and then I don't know what's going on with the uh, these winds around the equator man look at that what is this let's try going back a year just to see what it looked like see nothing like that you actually have, you know, almost a, a line right around the equator where there's no wind whatsoever up here. It's pretty steady. But now, look at it. Man, they are definitely messing some things up. So what the heck are they doing here? So something is definitely... Let's go back another year just to... Just go back to like 2017. So 2017, we almost had a solid wind pattern. So, you know, some weird anomaly winds. I remember back here, that's when they got them typhoons. So yeah, man, just things are looking really weird right now, especially on the earth and all. Let's go ahead and check the jet stream. And there's almost no jet stream over the United States. Where the hell's the jet stream? Look at that. It's just like a couple thousand miles wide straight pattern. No troughs, no ridges. Where are, where's the jet stream at, man? It's all freaked out. It's like the jet stream's all down here. So we got some kind of crazy manipulation going on with the jet stream. It looks like they have it shut off right here to the west of the Hawaiian Islands. You know, usually it connects with ridges and troughs like right here. But as soon as you get out here where the ship track operation is, uh, there's something wrong with the jet stream. Let's go ahead and check the wave heights. See if we got any kind of anomalies we do way down here in the south, but not too big. And we'll check the sea surface temperatures real quick. And then the anomalies. So they're definitely melting right where they're going to put the railroad in. So they're definitely melting up here. They're melting the north on purpose. Then we got just this massive heat anomaly. There could be some kind of volcanic stuff going on out here in the Cascadia subduction zone. Something. Something is causing this big heat. Look, it looks like a face. Looks like a demon. Got the eye, the mouth, the horn. That looks just like a demon. Man, that's pretty crazy. If I can get it like straight. Yeah, I can't really get it straight, but yeah, that's uh that's pretty odd right there. Uh 
All right, so let's take a look. Look at the fires are like getting worse down here. Then you got one looks like popping off in New Mexico or Texas right there. So then fires, you're starting to get some really bad air quality. We know this is all from the chemtrails. Fires. There's fires all over the place, man. We're going to go, you know, on top of the, the grand solar minimum, you have all the volcanoes that have went off, all these fires that are going off, feeding more particulates in there. What the, this is all aerosols. You know, we've seen the mass spraying operation up here, but the air is just horrible right now. The carbon monoxide. Let's check the carbon dioxide. Still pretty high there in Southern California, right there where the fire is. You know, there's no fire over here, so how can it be so bad? I mean, is that just the industrial stuff? Hey, thanks out there, Linda. You too. Well, it's like not wanting... To, oh, there it goes. So here's... Like right now, we have all the Sahara dust has come all the way over from Africa. The Sahara Desert blown all the way over. Now it's all in the Gulf of Mexico. We have a mega air quality alert for the whole southern states florida georgia texas everywhere so this shit's gonna mix in with all the chemtrails and we still have this unknown anomaly right here off the bajas we, i have no clue what's going on out there we know these are fires but what is going on right here? I mean, it's just been showing up there for uh, days. Just for a comparison, let's go back a year to see what it looked like a year ago. If it'll load. You know, that's a volcano there. So back then they, they had a lot of fires going on last year at this time look at all the more blue though man we go back to now get rid of that so pretty crazy all right let me check the mimic real quick then we'll probably go ahead and call it a show The atmospheric river does not look normal. Look at all these weird pulses going on way up here in the Arctic. You have, like, there shouldn't even be water vapor up in the Arctic. But we have big radiuses and all kinds of weird stuff going on up here. So, yeah, man, completely uh, out of whack. All right, guys, I think we're going to call this show. I can't stop yawning, man. I'm tired, man. The Monday sucks. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow night. Much love out there. God willing, we'll be back tomorrow night. So anyway, guys, much love out there. Be safe. No fear. Eyes to the skies. Anyway, was, uh, if you don't like heavy metal, turn it down. We're going we're gonna to rise up. Here we go. Let's go.